everything was extremely accurate. Yeah. I, and I don't yeah. know if you noticed, but like, at least the, from from what I could pick up on, I've watched it twice now, mm. and the the whole time they say Theodore Bundy or they call him Ted or they call him Bundy, but they never call him Ted Bundy until she, until it's showing that she called in and like gave him up, yeah. like his. His so, initial list. So I don't know. I don't know if that's just like something significant. If like I don't know. It was just interesting that like until like the very end of the movie, they didn't call him like Ted Bundy. So I mean, I guess the, yeah, I, I like guess I don't like to refer gravity. to you as Austin Hotchkiss. I'm well, I'm talking no, about. Him, but they called him Theodore Bundy. Is what I'm saying. Like his yeah. full name. You know what I mean? Like nobody calls me Richard Hotchkiss. You know what I mean? That's my first. Like nobody goes for that. Rich. You know what I, mean? I mean, I guess if you're in hey, a rich. court of law and they're like, I guess so. Richard Austin, yeah, no, they have to be sent, you have been, which is true. Yeah. But I'm saying like you not even been... his closest friends, like not even like nobody. You know what I mean? I don't know. Like nobody, it just wasn't. Mm-hmm. Meant, I don't know. It just seemed kind my, of weird. my my only thing with it is that it kind of just bounced around. And I I had finished watching the documentary a few months before this movie came out, and so I knew like the story in its entirety. Right. And it was really amazing what what they did with like the script. Like they they got the script down. Very accurate, yeah. Right, um, and the only th- I just can't, I can't like articulate the way I felt about it. But it just kind of bounced around to different things. And the really the only thing that like well, I and I guess I can appreciate like them not showing like the actual violent right things. But like they I mean they kind of did at the end there. It's just it was just kind of all over the place until like the very end, like with the final court proceeding, and right. that was sort of like the ending. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was just this huge story that you have to fill into. What was it like an hour forty two hours yeah, something like that? Yeah, forty. Well, what's just so interesting about it too is like he, like that movie. It it seems like none of that would be real. Like it just yeah. You know what I mean? Like just the way that he acted and things. It just seems like he's just a big movie character. Mm. But like. I mean, he did all of that. Like, it's just insane how, like, yeah. it just doesn't, it seems fictionalized, but it's not. I think they need to make, because y- y'all have seen um, My Friend Dahmer, right? I haven't watched that. Okay. I, I need to. But... That is a, in my opinion, a better movie than this one, because it shows the childhood of this guy, and it's yeah. just, like, super dark. Like... Well, what they, what they explained about Ted Bundy in that thing is, like, that he really didn't have some crazy childhood. The, the worst part was when I mean, his grandpa, like, which is bad, but... When his grandpa, you know, is abusive, had that abusive streak, because or Elmo well, no, no, his his, but his uh, dad wasn't abusive, was he? Or no, what? what happened was his mom. Uh, his, first of all, his mom, like his act, his real mother. So I'll say his mother, his real biological mother, had him when she was a teenager, like sixteen or seventeen, and he was born thinking that she was his sister. Yeah. And then later on in life, he found out he was an illegitimate child, he was a mistake, and That's that his right. sister was actually his mother, and that the person he'd been calling mom was his grandmother. And that that's that was right. the thing. So he didn't know his actual father. Okay. And I guess that's what, like, spurred his thing. And he said it was because of pornography and, mm-hmm. like, okay, there's a, there's a huge pornography epidemic in the United States and I don't think there's a lot of Ted Bundy's running around killing yeah. everybody so that's probably not a thing um, but it probably I mean back then it probably had an effect on him you know what yeah. I mean but I don't know it's crazy but you need to watch My Friend Dahmer that movie is phenomenal I need to finish the Ted Bundy documentary because I watched most of it and I I heard that backstory but yeah. I completely forgot I, yeah I no, that, somebody told me something be different weird. and it messed me up but it's a good a good movie it's yeah. i mean it like you said i mean it could have been a lot darker if they had really wanted it to be but it wasn't special guest taylor hotchkiss welcome to the throne room oh hi <laughs> <laughs> oh hi what are you doing what is he doing oh he's just chilling oh he's petting the dog he really loves that dog princess is your is there, are the cookies still up uh they're in the Freezer, you can get them though. Oh my gosh. I need a cookie. Alright, I'm gonna get a cookie. Yo, yo, conversate, conversate. If you can hear this, he's just cycling through guests. He has us all in the bottom of a basement. We can't there's no source of light, we can't get out. We don't know the address, but we can hear we can hear birds and one car every few hours. Please. <laughs> oh hey Josh. Oh, welcome back. Hello. 
<laughs> what did you, what did y'all talk about while I was gone? We were talking about what uh, Netflix shows we should discuss yeah, next. Yeah. Okay. The, the good ones. Oh. <laughs> hmm. It sort of sounded like you were uh, making a, a fake scenario in which I trapped <laughs> no, you. No, no, no. We're talking about people. another uh, serial killer. They should make one up on. His name is uh, Ed Bedunde. Z- oh. Uh, z- 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 Zoe. 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 Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. N- Nick. Zoe Nick. Silly Nick. Uh, so they, if my if my presumption uh, <laughs> is correct, that's just my name backwards. Yes. <laughs> okay. 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 Glad life, you're on life looks like that. Huh? Yeah, it's just weird how that works out sometimes, man. Um, yo. So you're playing rugby. I am playing rugby. Tell yeah. us about that. Well, um, so <laughs> it's a lot different than football. That's for sure. Um, for those of you that didn't already know that. Um, it's yeah I mean it's good it's a lot more conditioning than the position I was already playing um, considering I was a lineman and I now run around the field for 80 minutes it's a very it's it's just a much different um, situation training wise and everything um, yeah. but it's fun it's good I uh, have been out for the past like month because I rolled my ankle pretty bad um, I think I sprained it pretty good so I didn't break anything which is good but also at the same time Kind of not good because you know sometimes sprains can be even worse yeah. with muscles and tendons and things involved. But anyways, it's good. It's fun. Um, I like it a lot. These clickers we, are freaking amazing. Yeah, <laughs> we played SMU um, in February and wow. pulled off a comeback, which was pretty awesome. Beat them with less than a minute left, so that's fun. Yeah. It's that's SMU. We used to play them. That's where the fish for tradition comes from. We play. At, we don't play SMU. We used to. Yeah, I remember we used to. That's where it used to be spread. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm accepting that. Hey, what? Just another drug school, you know? Okay. Great. <laughs> um. Let me tell you though, going to SMU from ACU, you see the difference in like wealthy. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, SMU is crazy. As much as ACU is not cheap. Um, it's definitely much cheaper than SMU, and yeah. SMU is, uh, I mean, literally, I don't, I don't think I saw, like, a single car other than, like, Mercedes and Audis and, it's not. um, BMWs and things like that. Like, it's just... Who went there? From our school? Yeah, Boston. Uh, Boston went there to play soccer. Boston and, uh, do you remember, gosh dang it, Har- Harrison Schumann. Do you remember him? Schumann went to SMU. Yeah. He was our huddle leader. Yep. Good guy. Good dude. Okay, so I saw a video on Twitter, and it was um, Robert Downey Jr. kissing Tom Holland on the mm-hmm. cheek, like during like filming, uh, but like there, it was in between cuts. And he was like giving him a hug. Yeah. It, was it in Infinity War? When that he was, was Infinity War. Yeah, he's okay. giving him a hug during in the filming of Infinity War, and he's just like hugging him. Like they're not filming; they're just hugging him, and then he just goes. Just... Right there. Yeah. How old is Tom Holland, first of all? Tom Holland's in his twenties. Okay. He he looks. And how old like is Robert like Downey Jr. Above the age of consent. Above the age of consent. Yeah, he's, he's above like, the age of consent, like but still, Robert Downey so Jr. Like, is like what, forty, fifty? Seventy-five. He's, no. No, I'm kidding. I'm, <laughs> he, I think the... he's in his fifties. Okay, so he's in oh, his. Oh, oh. Let me let me look, let me fact he's in check his, this. Go ahead and fact check it. He was recovering from the the whole drug thing during Tropic Thunder, so. Yeah. Was that wait? What he actually had a drug thing? Robert yeah, Downey no, Jr. No. is fifty-four years old. Yeah, yeah Robert, Robert Downey, Downey Jr. Jr. was like has, a, yeah, he's yeah. A, that was his whole st- uh, stick. Like that's what he was known for for a while. Wow. There's yeah. actually a clip. Uh, it was a promo for Tropic Thunder, and it's Robert Downey Jr. in an Iron, Iron Man Day, outfit, is uh, uh, just kicking Jack Black in the balls Honestly. while he's wearing a uh, Kung Fu Panda hat. <laughs> And Jack Black starts calling him out on his drug stuff, and you can see it get to him. <laughs> um, Tom Holland, I was right, is 22 years old. Okay. So there's about a 32 age, you know, year age. That's play. a child. Yeah. Yeah. It's a grown man. Let's wind the clocks back. There's a grown man difference. Let's wind the clocks back 22 years. 22 years. Hey, 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 hey. We're 22, not 32. He said 22. You said I said 22. I'm thinking 32 because you said, okay, yeah. Let's wind the clocks back 22 years. Okay. 
Hey, 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 hey. I'm not alive. Robert Downey Jr. None of us are. It's a 32 year old man. Man. And has a child. Kissing a fetus. It's kind of weird. I'd do it. Or let's just turn the clock back, I don't know, 16 years. Forward, no, forward. That'd be kind of a cooler image. Hmm? Like a seven year old man kissing like a 30 year old dude on the cheek mm. while they embrace a hug. Yeah, I don't know. I, mean, I, I don't know where res- you're going. I don't know where I you're going with that. I can respect that, but like. Just the vision. Probably get some good cinematography. Okay. Well, I don't um, know where you're Josh going with that. Josh, yeah. We'll see you later. <laughs> it's been a great. Right, been a great yeah, that's, this has been Josh Pink. Thanks so much. I'm trying to let him. I'm trying to get out of this space. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? You're Nothing. Not, I don't think you're, you know. I got a. I don't think you're Tourette's. Right. I say stuff. <laughs> I got the Tourette's. Got These the cookies Tourette. are phenomenal. Wow. And they're frozen too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're frozen. I can frozen. Okay. I'm chewing. Chewing. Chewing's happening. Thank you for the play, by the viewers. That's need the to ASMR know. we promised. Or listeners. Get a little closer. Say. Ew. Dear God. Wow. Delicious co- I cookies. I learned a lot about the uh, ASMR industry from one of my buddies. In Why? Because he's uh, he's really into it. Like they like put the headphones on in a dark room and just listen to it. There's some pretty weird stuff you can get. Like uh, we hooked up my roommate to one. And we put a blindfold on him and headphones in, and it was a uh, Italian mafia interrogation ASMR. Are they whispering still? No, no, no! It's just. Are like, they like, hey, Vinny? It's like role playing. Like, <laughs> give me the bad bulb. <laughs> they want, they want you to, let, they want you to give them, yeah. tell them where the drugs are going. You know. Yeah. Wow. It's, it's interesting. There's a lot of, there's a lot of work that goes into it. Yeah. I just don't get. That's not my. Th- I don't I'm give someone just like being ASMR. like. <laughs> and like put that. That doesn't. Well, some people use it behind, to Doesn't get me. I can get behind like the satisfying videos. Like the ones where they're cutting soap and stuff, those are dope. You know, they but make like, like weird a like thousand dollars. Those are all every, over everywhere, dude. They make Snapchat, a, Instagram. On average, they make like a thousand dollars for every soap bar they cut. Depending on how big they are. Yeah, well, yeah, but like, well, no, that's like taken from like the average of like small time oh, and wow. big time. Like the median is like a thousand dollars. Why? Why? Like excluding or including outliers? Probably that's excluding. In- what do you mean outliers? It's outliers. including the media the sample from the sample because there's a plan. If it's, where, if it's the median, then there's a point where you cut them well, Like yeah. they're not gonna factor in like some dude making a million dollars for no. Yeah. Well, then they don't okay. include him in the. No, they, um, I mean they would take a sample, but then they would. Let's not go back to senior year math because <laughs> oh. I know I ever. Our high school math was disgusting. No, it's a blast. Nope. Math is so much fun. wrong. I was taking. I actually, my first Cal class was rough because I had no algebra knowledge at all from sex. I remember when we got like some like tests to see like how much we knew coming in. Yeah. And I was like, I was looking at the test like, what does that mean? <laughs> yeah, dude, I would, it was I would say my best knowledge from there was like how to write a paper. Like at least how to yeah, format one. Format one for class. sure. English was good. To, I have mean, you been hit with anything other than MLA? No. No, I I have all all, all, all was, my writing is 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 technical writing. So yeah. it's like lab reports. Yeah. yeah. It's literally just lab reports. I haven't written, had to write like. Oh, I got hit with some like stuff because we have to like write like actual like essays what was like, it, like within APA high school. Or something? APA like Chicago Turabian. I was like. I'm sitting there on Google, like, what's the difference? Yeah, they, both you, have they words. really pressed MLA. Well, yeah, and that's not the of, only thing out even, there. Like, but a lot of times, that's what most people use. Like, at ACU, that's all I've used. I ain't seen it. No. That's all I've used is MLA. So, I don't know. I think it depends on where you're at. Because, yes. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, anywhere. I mean, you gotta know how, how to do different stuff. You know what I mean? At least, all I'm saying is, at least I walked into a class and I knew what a body, or, you know, an introduction, body, and conclusion. I knew how to at least do that. Yeah. Um, And, yeah, that's a ton better than, I don't know, some people come in and don't even know what English is. Okay, so, y'all seen the new Star Wars trailer, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
What do you think? I don't know. I've about given up.